What is up, YouTube? If you guys are like me, whenever I get a new smartphone, one case is normally not enough. I usually end up getting quite a few if you've ever seen most of the videos on my channel. I've done quite a few case reviews for different smartphones. And with my new S23 Ultra, it's not going to be any different. So I'll probably start doing a few case reviews for this one too. So this is the first case that I got, the ESR case. And I, I like this case. It's a good case, but it does have some flaws that could be improved. Number one is that kickstand bump right there. That's the big one, is that it adds more thickness than it should on to the uh, case right so today we're going to be looking at another case another clear case actually most of the times i usually get clear cases because they show off the look of your phone the original look or if you got a skin then you can show off the skin and i'm i don't mind getting a much more expensive clear case as long as it offers a little bit more features or better drop protection better lip protection display protection camera protection whatever um, they also have to have a kickstand. Normally, I won't look at a case. I won't even consider getting the case unless it has a kickstand because if you have a large phone like the Galaxy S23 Ultra or something like an iPhone 14 Pro Max, they're big phones with big screens and when you like to watch TV, you get tired of just holding it like this all the time. So you want that kickstand, right? So this one also has a kickstand. And like I said, I don't mind paying a little bit more. But if you can find something for a bargain or something that's a more wallet friendly, then I usually go for that. So this one is a more wallet friendly case. And like I've been saying in the previous videos with the S23 Ultra, a lot of the cases now, even the ones that used to be pretty cheap, are now even more expensive, up to 5 or $10 more expensive for these even more expensive smartphones. But this one, you guys can see I'll pop it up on the screen right now. I don't even, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name, but you can try it if you want. And then let me know in the comment section how you think that name is. We're just gonna call it the Pure Crystal S23 Ultra case. Crystal Palace, whatever. So at the time of making this video, this case goes for $11, I believe, $11.99. And uh, I think you get a, Three or five percent off coupon, if I'm not mistaken. Key features of this phone: it's a military A10G drop protection. It says here 13, 13 feet or four meters. Another key feature is it has extra lip and bumpers to protect your phone screen and camera lens, and it's also anti-yellow. And most of all, it has that kickstand right there. And I think from what I've seen, the kickstand looks like it's going to be a little bit slimmer as far as like not sticking out so much from the case as the uh, ESR case. The one thing I did not see is this on the uh, Amazon page. They didn't say they had that. It says protected by D3O. D3O is usually used on the very the more expensive case. The first ones to start using it was I believe Tech 21. And so here's the front of the case. You can pause that. You can uh, see the features right here. Pause that and read it for yourself. Protected by D3O. Then here in the back, some more features. Let me get in closer so you guys can see it. So you can pause that and read it for yourself. Far packaging looks good, right? It doesn't look like a generic uh, box. It, lo it looks like something more expensive that you would find at your retail store and not something that you would order off Amazon for like under $20, under $15. And here is the case. And uh, it looks like it's wrapped in... Seems like there's plastic. Yeah, there's plastic around here. It says, please peel off the front and back protective films before application. There's the kickstand. And then right here you have styrofoam also protecting the back of the case. I don't know if you guys could see, but on the inside, I thought this was a card. But it's not a card or anything. It's part of the case. As you guys can see, it says, ultimate impact protection. D3O is proven to protect. So it's the same as this. All right, let's peel this plastic. I wish this plastic had some kind of tabs, like on other cases, like the ones from, I think Ghost Tech has a, tabs where it tells you where to peel off. This one, as you guys can see, I started from right here and just started peeling it. So you got that part out. I don't know what that is right here. Hopefully, 
that's on the other side it must be on the other side okay let's peel off the other we're gonna start off like on the other I'm just gonna go here and do we still see that sticker or that adhesive no I don't think I do okay so there you go I'm gonna remove the ESR case and uh, let's compare it okay here are the two backs of the cases compared here's the ESR one where it has this camera cut out right here here is the uh, crystal palace case I'm gonna call it and then you can see the comparisons on the kickstands and we're gonna see how functional that kickstand is um, so they both look pretty clear here are the tops and you can see they both have well this one actually the ESR has more bumpers but the bumper on the uh, Crystal Palace looks like it's on the inside that shock absorbing material and then here from the side the what is this let's say the right side if my camera can focus because it does not look like it's focusing it's hard to for most cameras to pick up and focus with these clear cases they both have a, a, these cutouts where you can put a lanyard onto, onto the case but looking at it from here you could tell that you're still going to get a little bit of a thinner foam with the uh, Crystal Palace here are the here this is the let's say the left side where the buttons are at or actually this should be the right right because if the phone display is facing you then the buttons are going to be on the right side so whatever okay and then here's the cutouts so the the Crystal Palace looks a little bit thicker which for screen protection should be a little bit better I'm gonna think the cutouts on the uh, Crystal Palace are a little bit bigger especially where the S Pen is right there or a little bit wider yeah and then it doesn't have the micro dot pattern here on the sides like the uh, ESR case does and then the buttons look like they're metallic instead of clear you guys see that okay let's install the phone onto the case I'm gonna wipe my phone up first and then uh, we're gonna walk through it okay I was gonna pause it and then just put the phone into the case but I want to show you guys how easy it is probably or how hard it is to install it so I'm gonna put in one side first and then the other side and let's see if it snaps into place yes it does uh, one thing I noticed though when I paused the video, I had to wipe the phone case again because the stickers on the uh, that film, the stickers, the film that covered the back and inside back attracts lint. So I had a, I already started noticing lint building up inside and outside of the case because of those, uh, because of the adhesive that was on the stickers on the film. And so, if you guys don't know, I do have the camera lens screen protector from that other um, screen protectors that I ordered, the $9 ones, which I'm not going to try to pronounce the name. But all in all, you can still see that there's still a little bit of a lip, even with those camera, screen, uh, camera lens screen protector installed. And I was still able to install the case, even with these uh, camera lens screen protectors, as you can see. And um, let's see if I can get my camera to catch it. So there is some lip right here on the sides, extra lip to protect the back of the case from getting scratches when you lay your phone flat. See it? There's the lip right there. And the lip right there. And then the lip right there. And then the other good thing with uh, having an, a kickstand 
is that kickstand will also protect the back of your case when you lay it flat from getting scratches. And it seems like it's a, uh, I want to say metal. Feels like metal, a little cold to the touch. But we'll we'll see how the case uh, the kickstand is. Here up front, you have the, all that extra lip to protect your screen. And what's nice with the uh, S23 Ultra is it's not as rounded as the uh, S21 Ultra that I previously owned or the S22 Ultra. It's almost a much more flatter screen, so you're going to get better screen protection on these type of cases that have extra lip going around the phone or going around the case, as you guys can see. Now let's check the cutouts. So starting from the bottom, you have that big wide opening to get S Pen out and it's more it's more easier than the ESR. You guys like that Star Wars sound, lightsaber sound? Go to Easy Computer Solutions uh, video. He showed how to do it with this S22. And then I just did it on my S23. Uh, the cutout for the uh, speaker grills here on the bottom look good along with the two microphone holes and the uh, USB-C. And then the cutout, there should be another microphone up top here. And it lines up perfectly as you guys can see. Alright, so that's good. Let's test out the buttons because they do mention in the uh, on the Amazon page that it has very good buttons. And let's see. Yeah, it is. Wow. This $11.99 case seems to be a little better than the ESR as far as the buttons. Uh, I'm already at full volume because I was listening to this my phone on my car. So as you guys can see, they have better tactility and feel than the ESR buttons. And you could actually hear it. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I don't even have my microphone plugged. I hope you guys, I hope this uh, sound is good. Okay, we are back, guys. Um, I don't know how this is going to sound, but I plugged in my Sony lavalier mic. So everything I recorded beforehand was with just my Sony camera's um, built-in microphone. So let me know how that sounds, or I'll probably find out how it sounds once I'm done. Uh, if you guys can see here on the side where the lanyard is, it says S23U, probably for S23 Ultra. And um, right here it says shock absorbing technology, right here where the corners are. This is surprisingly very well made for a 11.99 case. Uh, speaking of well made, the sides here are just as grippy as the ESR case. And because the sides are like less rounded or less yeah there's less curve on the sides here it's more squared in design just like the uh s23 ultra it adds a little bit better grip than the uh, esr case and here actually that wow there's two um cutouts for a lanyard on the left here and on the right as you guys can see right there and okay so now that i have my lavalier mic let's uh play with the buttons again See if you guys can hear them. Okay, that's the power button. And then again with the uh, volume buttons. They're very good and responsive, very tactile. You can do the long press. Yeah, I am really digging this case and the buttons and the overall feel and build of it. And if this actual uh, these corners are actually built in with D3O protection, that's even better. Okay, so here on the back is the kickstand. Let's test it out. Uh, first of all, this is really nice. See where it opens and pops out? It leaves the uh, volume and media control buttons and power buttons right where they should be at right so that is really nice that is really good and then um so it works this way does it work the other way no 
So that's where it won't work. But that's okay because this is the way I prefer it right here. And that's what I try to do in the ESR case review. Remember I, I said the old ESR cases, you can pop this out and reorient it, but now you can't. So the pop out for this part is the default puts your volume and power buttons on the bottom where on the uh, your volume buttons are at the top although on the ESR case you can lay it flat this way whereas on the uh, Crystal Palace case as you can see you can't it'll just fall down can we do portrait and it can do portrait as you guys can see so it does do portrait and landscape the ESR wins on that part it's more versatile as far as it could do this way this way and uh, landscape whereas this one could only do uh, or portrait this one can do portrait and it can do this landscape right here but that's good overall and it's much thinner let's do this because it doesn't have that hump or it feels thinner because it doesn't have that hump and it's like I said the grip is much better okay so the cutouts and everything were good um, it has this metal kickstand that does that metal kickstand interfere with wireless charging and these big ports will they fit my fat fast wireless um, USB cord USB-C cord so let's test those two things out okay right here I'm about to show you the differences between the fast super fast wireless charging cable of the Samsung 45 watt fast charger and a regular like 20 15 watt charger you can see the differences in the thickness of the cables okay so we're gonna use the fat one because if this one works the other your normal cables will work and it works just fine as you guys can see super fast charging 2.0 82 percent 27 minutes until full okay let's go the other side not like it makes a difference but there you go one more time it does work okay all right so no issues with the port or the USB-C port cut out let's test out wireless charging okay so here is my Samsung 14 watt fast wireless charger I think that's as much as they get I'm pretty sure because ever since the exploding note 7s they've been pretty gun shy about going at higher speeds or higher charging speeds Samsung that is not the others so here we go that works for the normal orientation normal landscape how about to the side that works too upside down upside down charging works too and then the top facing me the other landscape mode that works also so no issues with uh, wireless charging at all as you guys can see all right let's wrap this up so that is our look at this uh, I'm not gonna say the name but I'm just gonna call it the Crystal Palace case protected by D3O all around it's a good case number one it has good feel in the hands ladies so it's very grippy so if you have greasy fingers or butter fingers you're not gonna worry about this phone slipping out of your fingers it's a uh, camera lens uh, protector friendly as well as a uh, screen protector friendly or is it the other way around the cutouts are all good they line up evenly and nicely it has that shock impact protection or D3O technology supposedly on the sides or the corners uh, the buttons are good and tactile all of them volume up and down and power buttons uh, it's got extra lip around your display to protect your display it's got extra lip around the camera lens to protect the camera lens it's a nice crystal clear case I will do follow-ups on all my clear cases uh, a few months later to see if they uh, yellow out over time it's supposed to have anti-yellow and uh, it's got the kickstand 
which is a good feature and the kickstand works at in both landscape and portrait and the default kickstand configuration already has the your volume and media buttons facing the top so they're not going to be on the on the surface that you lay it on so you have access to them and best of all it's only 11.99 11.99 hard to believe this is a 21 dollar case and this is an 11 dollar case and this just feels better it feels better built it's got better buttons and uh the only thing the esr got this case beat is the uh, kickstand has more functions but then the kickstand on the SR also gives it a thicker look compared to the uh, Crystal Palace. So that is it. All around, this case is highly recommended. Unlike the screen protectors that came with the uh, this screen protectors kit that came with the that was only nine dollars and ninety nine that was not worth it. This time you actually get more for your money this time out with this uh, case. The Crystal Palace case. Highly recommended. I will put links in the description if you guys are interested in this case. If you guys are considering buying this case, please use the links in my description as it does help out my channel and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So if you guys have found this look and review at the Crystal Palace S23 Ultra case with the kickstand with D3O protection, please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at The Workout Geek for all my latest happenings and great workout tips. Till next time, take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you soon for another video. Have a great day, everybody.